can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this triangle with a side length of 4 and 9 units respectively, this angle is theta and this angle is 3 times theta. Now this length is represented by A and this side length, this segment represented as segment B. Now this triangle is not drawn to scale. Now our goal in this question is to find the ratio of A and B. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so to answer this question, again, this triangle is not drawn to scale. So let's begin. So to answer this, let's call this height, why not? Let's call this height be equal to h. Now from here, we have two right triangles with the side length 4 each A and the other one is 9 each B. Therefore, we can now use what we call the Sokatoa. So what is Sokatoa? So means sine theta equals opposite side over the hypotenuse, while Ka means cosine theta equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and Toa equals tangent theta equals the opposite side over the adjacent side and we will use this concept to answer this question so first let's use the so or the sine equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse so let's use this first right triangle so we can say that sine 3 theta must be equal to h over 4 the opposite side over the hypotenuse now on the second right triangle so we can say that sine theta equals h over 9, the opposite over the hypotenuse. Next, what we're going to do is to get the ratio of sine 3 theta and sine theta, like this. And on the right-hand side, if we simplify this, we need to take the reciprocal of the denominator h over 9 and multiply this by the numerator h over 4. So this is just h over 4 times 9 over h h and h cancel out so this is just 9 over 4. now we will use the identity for sine of 3 theta and we have 3 times sine theta minus 4 times sine cube theta so we can replace this numerator by this identity next we will use the property of similar fraction so we can split this expression on the left hand side of our equation Next, we can eliminate this sine theta and sine theta. This is just 3. And we have sine cubed, so we can eliminate 1 sine theta. So this will give us 4 times sine squared theta and equals to 9 over 4. Now, let's solve for sine squared theta. So first, let's subtract 3 on both sides. Now, this 3, we can rewrite this as 12 over 4. We want the same denominator. Now, 9 minus 12 all over 4, this will give us negative 3 over 4. And divide both sides by negative 4. So this will give us sine squared theta must be equal to positive 3 over 16. Now, let's set aside this result. Next, after the sine function, let's have the cosine function. So given the first equation, using the cosine function, we have cosine of 3 theta equals to A, the adjacent side, over the hypotenuse 4. And using the second right triangle, we have cosine theta equals b over 9, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Because we want the ratio of a and b, so why not? Let's get the ratio of these two equations. And on the right hand side, let's have the reciprocal of b over 9 and multiply this by a over 4. Now, since multiplication is associative, we can interchange 4 and b and get the same product. So now we have a over b, this is what we want to find, times 9 over 4 and equals to cosine 3 theta over cosine theta. And we will use the identity for cosine 3 theta because cosine 3 theta must be equal to 4 times cosine cube theta minus 3 times cosine theta. So we can replace the numerator with this identity or equivalent and we can split this fraction using the property of similar fractions 
And now, cosine cube theta over cosine theta, this will give us cosine squared theta. And cosine theta over cosine theta, this is just 1. So this is just minus 3. And how do we get the value of cosine squared theta? So we will use the Pythagorean identity. We have cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And if we subtract sine squared theta, we get that cosine squared theta must be equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we can replace cosine squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. Now why we do that? Because we have the value for sine squared theta. This is just 3 over 16. So we can replace this with 3 over 16. And finally, we are now ready to find the value of A over B. So first, let's combine 1 and negative 3 over 16. This one, we can rewrite this as 16 over 16. And if we subtract this, we have 16 minus 3 all over 16 or simply equal to 13 over 16. Now, 4 times 13 over 16, this 16 is 4 times 4, so this will give us cancel 4. So we have 13 over 4. Next, we can write this 3 as 12 over 4. 13 minus 12 over 4 is just 1 over 4. To solve for the value of this A over B, let's multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 9 over 4 or simply equal to 4 over 9. And we can eliminate this 4 on the numerator and denominator. So this will give us 1 over 9. And there you have it. This is the ratio of A and B. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this scenario or given this information, the ratio of A and B must be equal to 1 over 9. And as always, we are done.